Hello all, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be going through how to set up an Apache web server with the rewrite module mod underscore rewrite to perform C2 traffic redirection. C2 redirector is very commonly used to increase the difficulty in identifying the actual C2 server as your implant payload will only be communicating to the C2 redirector and not the C2 server itself. With a C2 redirector, especially with the rewrite module from Apache, it can be customized further to serve different pages depending on configured conditions, such as matching request URIs, user agent, or even a range of IP addresses. We will be demonstrating the C2 redirector with Covenant C2 since the most recent videos have been on Covenant C2. Looking at the custom HTTP profile, we can see that the Covenant C2 implant will be communicating over configured URLs such as index, docs, and test.html. With this information, we can configure the rewrite module to only redirect the incoming traffic to the actual C2 server if only the request URIs are matched. Alright, let's get started. Let's hop over to our Ubuntu server which will be our C2 redirector. Install Apache Web Server on it. Next, copy-paste the commands from the reference to enable the modules required. We will need to make some changes to the Apache configuration file as shown in the reference. Change the allow override from none to all. With that being done, we should be able to redirect traffic now with the rewrite module. It is pretty simple and straightforward. Let's copy paste this example HTSS file content and give it a shot. We can easily do a sanity test to check if the HTSS rewrite rules work by using CURL curl. Hmm, we encountered a 500 internal server error. This means that our rewrite rules are messed up. Oh right, if we want to redirect to another domain, we will need to use the capital L and R302 instead of P. Let's change that. Alright, as shown over here, it works now. With the default curl command and curl user agent, it is going to yahoo.com as the user agent doesn't match any of the mobile user agent configured. If we were to change the user agent to something like iPhone, which matches the rewrite condition, we can see that we will be redirected to google.com instead. Perfect, we are able to quickly verify that our HD access rewrite rules work as intended. Since we want to redirect C2 traffic, let's copy paste the other example given on the reference shown. We will need to change the request URI to match our Covenant C2 implant URIs. Let's change the user agent as well for this demonstration. Change the user agent of our Covenant implant to the value special. Hmm, it seems that it can't be changed if the listener is using the profile and the profile is running. Let's stop the listener first before trying to change the user agent value. Great, it is working now. We have successfully changed the Covenant Implant user agent value to special. Let's change the HD access rewrite condition to match our Covenant Implant user agent value special as well. Our team server which is our actual Covenant C2 IP address is 10.211.55.6 so let's change that. If the request URIs and the user agent from the incoming traffic doesn't match, let's redirect the user to google.com. Awesome, let's give it a try. If we were to open our browser and visit our C2 redirector which is .7, we can see that we are immediately redirected to google.com since our request URL and the user agent doesn't match. Let's try it out with code as well. As shown over here, we are redirected to google.com with the iPhone user agent. Let's try to change the value of the user agent and the URI so that we will hit the C2 server itself which is .6. Hmm, weird. We are still redirected to Google instead of hitting the Covenant C2 server. We should be redirected to the Covenant C2 server instead. 
Oh damn, there is a typo over here in our HD access rewrite condition. The request URI. We have an additional slash on the URIs. Let's remove the additional slash at the front of the URIs and it should work. Alright, we are no longer getting redirected to Google now when the user agent and the request URI matches. Let's give it a shot with our Covenant C2 implant instead. Let's not forget to change the connect address of our listener. Since we are using a C2 redirector, the connect back address of the implant should be going to the C2 redirector instead of the C2 server itself. We need to change the connect back address to our Ubuntu redirector IP address which is .7. Now let's use the PowerShell launcher and give it a go. Awesome, we can see that it works now. The Covenant C2 implant is calling back to our C2 redirector Ubuntu on dot 7. And our Ubuntu redirector on dot 7 is then proxying and forwarding the traffic to our C2 server instead. Alright all, that is all to this video. Ideally, you should have a HD access rewrite rule to block and redirect all of the security vendor related IP addresses. This will certainly make it harder to identify your C2 IP address and to block it. All of the references shown will be in the video's description, so be sure to check them out. I hope you all have found the video to be interesting and useful. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I appreciate it. I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye!